Hello and welcome. My name is Paul Hughes. I'm with ThinkSign and today I'll be demonstrating Smart LED Manager Pro. If you have already downloaded uh, the software from either our website or the thumb drive, uh, simply click the icon, uh, give our software permission to uh, check for advancements or updates, and the interface will open. If it's your first time downloading the software, you'll default to this page. Uh, this is to encourage you that you need to enter your signs uh, pixel matrix. Uh, today we'll be working with a 80 pixel height and a uh, 176 pixel width. We will call this uh, demonstration. Within Smart LED Manager Pro, there's no save, there's no save as. Uh, but you do need to give your project a name for us to index the work you've created. If we cre hit create, we're within our first project, demonstration, the pixel matrix, and the color. In brief, uh, all of your controls are at the top. Uh, new slide, open project, uh, you can create, you can open uh, um, all of your projects you've created here. And again, we'll stay within 80 by 176 demonstration. Input methods include uh, border effects, text, JPEGs or BMPs, .AVI videos, date and time, temperature, count up and count down, sync, and uh, help. Uh, in the help button, you can uh, come back to the software manual as a resource or maybe a quicker version on how to create your first few slides. Uh, if you need assistance either with hardware or software you can also call our tech support. Uh, you can email us or visit us our website. Let's begin creating some content. We'll begin with the border effect. This is a new feature from ThinkSign. Many end users have asked uh, if we can create this, and uh, we have. If you choose a border, you can decide if you want it static, flashing, moving left or right. Uh, you can determine the spacing of the border as well as the speed you want it to play. If I hit OK, we now have a tracer border, and in the toolbar below, if I click Preview, you can see your border in action click once takes you out of preview and we can move forward. If I click text we have three options uh, think sign fonts, Microsoft fonts and custom effects. Uh, these are custom style effects. I encourage you to play with these. If you double click custom you can create your own. If uh, you choose the arrow button you can choose different styles of font. If I type custom styles, choose a, uh, a font, and begin choosing a uh, font size, it's very easy to create a custom style. I can choose from our library of content. There's over a thousand uh, free images within this library. I can choose a background. Uh, from that background I can uh, make it any size I like or hit custom fit and it will make it fit your uh, signs matrix. It's very easy, uh, very simple and flexible. If we were to, uh, to click this layer we now have layer options. We can edit this layer, cycle it twice, we can choose to animate this layer. Uh, our animations are from a drop down. For demonstration purposes, I'll just choose auto. This is the time your, dis your uh, slide will hold after the effect. And last but not least, you can adjust the play speed. Hit OK and preview your first slide made. Let's create another new slide. Uh, once you hit new slide you can either create one from scratch, import one a friend made, or choose one from our animation library. For now I'll hit create. I'll choose text. 
think sign fonts and begin by choosing the third one down uh, it seems to be my favorite you can choose different sizes within the think sign fonts uh, if I type a message smart LED manager pro is easy to use indeed I can spread this text horizontally or vertically I can choose different font colors I can choose shadow effects and I can put left right or center rules on it I've created a layer I can move that layer anywhere I wish I again have my options at the top where I can uh, manage the layers auto center choose an animation etc and I want to create another text but this time in Microsoft fonts to demonstrate multiple layers is encouraged if I just type uh, indeed the only difference between Microsoft fonts and ThinkSign fonts is that we must obey the true type rules and highlight the text before we begin manipulating it so if I highlight the word indeed I can raise the text size, choose a font color, put it in bold, choose from any of the true type fonts, and proceed with OK. You'll notice again a layer defaults to the top left. That is to encourage you to know that you can move them anywhere you wish. I'll move it here. I'll choose Auto Center and from the toolbar below I will hit the paint bucket and choose a background color for the entire display I'll choose yellow for high contrast and hit OK and we've created our first uh, text box with two font styles let's move on if I create a new slide uh, let's choose from the library this time it does connect to our database in Louisville uh, where we can add animations and stills you can choose from animations uh, there's many in the background as well as uh, holiday commerce schools churches and others I'll choose the US flag and import it does pull down from our server in Louisville that's so uh, if we add more animations or features to the server in Louisville all of our previous customers will have access so now we have a waving flag animated background and we can easily add text over the top I'll go back to my think sign fonts again I'll choose the third enlarge the size and type my message again I can spread that out horizontally and vert vertically this time I'll use a right adjust and a black outline over a white text I'll move that text to the lower right hand corner of my display choose an animation again auto with a three second delay and a slight increase in the play mode and preview if you'd like to see what the next animation will do simply click it again and that's how it will present in the next rotation let's continue um, I'll choose new slide create this time I'm going to uh, look for a picture you can choose from the think sign library of a thousand images
Once chosen a picture, you can again select to fit or take it back to its original size and use the slide bar at the bottom to keep it in its aspect ratio and choose the size you desire. By hitting OK, it goes to your preview screen and again you can add another layer of text. If it flashes red, it's telling you you have stepped out of the bounds of your message center. It's very useful. I can spread that text again horizontally and vertically to fill my screen. If I hit OK, we now have a message. If I double click, I can reopen, hit uh, outline. Outline causes a contrast, makes it easier to read, and we can put our message wherever we like. Moving on, I'd like to show you a new slide again with picture, but this time browsing your computer. If I choose library of pictures, I can choose a car. The same rules apply. Uh, uh, auto slide, select a fit. I'll choose OK, and we can add text over our message. And we'll say huge car sale highlight the true type font find the size you like use auto center and again I'm going to use two different types of uh, text inputs so that I can emphasize uh, another phrase. This weekend only. And I'll make that larger than the previous text box. Okay, if I move it to the bottom, you can tell we need to change the font color. I'll make it red because the bottom of the picture is uh, predominantly white. I need to highlight my text to make that change. And now we've created our message and I'll animate this text layer. Moving on, I'll create a new slide. This time I'll import a video uh, by browsing from my computer. If um, I choose an animation, the same rule applies. I can fit that animation into my screen. I hit OK and I can choose the start time or the length of my video thus uh, allowing me to choose uh, uh, portions of a video that you import by hitting go the AVI video is being converted into a smart LED manager file format that is uh, so the LED will uh, know how to present it and if I hit preview we have an animation you can play any AVI video up to 2 gig, which is, uh, I think, more than uh, adequate. At the bottom, I want you to notice you have slide options. 
if we were to present the Smart LED Manager Pro as easy to use, uh, we can edit and give that uh, slide a name. We can also choose when that slide will play by either days of the week, by a uh, date range, or a start time. If you do not choose any of these options, they will play in rotation as shown below. If you do choose a rule and hit OK, you will notice a shadow icon of a clock that serves as a reminder that you have set a schedule. If you'd like to remove the schedule, hit calendar, hit reset schedule, and you're back to default and all uh, six slides will play in rotation. This is to export a slide and save it and send it to uh, someone else. You can create a copy of a slide and move that slide to another uh, part in the rotation in case you wanted to play the flag twice in one rotation. And last but not least, you can delete a slide by simply hitting the X button. If by choosing the sync button, you can, uh, it opens your sign manager window. Any and all thing signs that are connected or on the same network will appear on this page. Uh, if you choose the green button to search for sign, the software will scan your local area network and find the thing sign. Uh, by choosing yes, it automatically defaults. You can double click on this blue line or you can hit the next button that will take you to the download page. Uh, the download page is where you have your administrative features for the sign control systems as well as uh, a button to send your project to your sign. When I send the project to the sign, you will be able to watch uh, the progress of not only the videos but the individual files and at the end of the execution you'll get a confirmation that your project has successfully downloaded. On the left we have uh, some administrative options. Obviously, sync is the first. I'll walk you through these. Uh, I'll walk you through these. Basic is uh, just as it explains. You can set your science time and date. It will match the controlling computer. You can download fonts, update your firmware, or reboot your sign. Brightness. Uh, we suggest you use auto brightness. This is a demonstration unit that does not have a brightness sensor detected. The temperature can, uh, not only monitors the uh, outside environmental temperature but also the motherboard temperature. If you would like to turn your display off in the middle of the night, um, this is where you can do that. Your communication tab uh, easily displays what your IP uh, settings are and last but not least you can create a password protection uh, to prevent anyone from accessing the display without the password. I appreciate you uh, taking advantage of this software demonstration and again if you should have any questions you can refer back to the question mark or contact our technical support at 888-271-6807. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.